For the second time in a week, the David Posnack Jewish Day School is evacuated due to a bomb threat. The story developing right now in Davie. The school evacuated as soon as it received the bomb threat a couple of hours ago. And uh, the on-site Jewish Community Center is on lockdown as well. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is there live for us with the latest developments. Kerry. Yes, we just got an update from Davie Police. They told us that they searched the grounds here. No bomb was found and all clear was given and the students will be coming back to school here. But for the second time in just eight days, parents received a disturbing text message about a bomb threat at the Poznak School. And just like last week, as Davie Police swept the school campus, parents are searching for answers and praying that their kids are okay. Now take a look at this video from Chopper 4 this morning. The Poznak School was evacuated. The JCC on the same campus was placed on lockdown. We're told there was a non-specific threat called in sometime this morning and that the person who called in disguised their voice but did have some sort of interaction on the phone with a school employee. A second text that went out shortly after the first one around 10:30 said that all children were safe and urged parents to avoid coming to the campus. Now, we are learning there have been threats made at other JCCs and Anti-Defamation League offices across the U.S. today, including in Maryland, Milwaukee, and upstate New York. This has been a pattern across the country and across Florida. In the beginning of this year, parents are frustrated and rightfully upset. All of a sudden, it's escalated, uh, and the kids are being targeted simply because they're Jewish, and that's the only reason. I, I don't know if it's harassment. Or, or hatred, but in this day and age, this shouldn't be happening. Also today, all U.S. senators sent a letter to Trump administration officials urging action in response to these ongoing threats against Jewish institutions. Their statement reads in part, we're concerned that the number of incidents is accelerating and failure to address and deter these threats will place innocent people at risk and threaten the financial viability of JCCs, many of which are institutions in their communities. Again, just before we went on the air, Davy Police confirmed to us that they've searched the grounds, no bomb was found, and that the students will be coming back to school here. But like everyone else, investigators Investigators here are uh, communicating with the FBI and trying to put an end to these threats once and for all. Live in Davy Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.